Alright, hello everybody, and today we're going to be solving this integral right here, the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of sine of x over x. So, we're going to be using Laplace transforms to solve this, it's going to be pretty cool, but uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, I already called this integral i, just so we know what we're solving later on, but uh, let's just take a look at this integral first of all. So, we have a sine of x and an x. And notice that they're both odd functions, and whenever you have an odd function divided by another odd function, well, that the whole thing is just an even function. But what does an even function look like? Well, remember, it's just some swiggly thing that's symmetrical across the y-axis. And if you integrate it across symmetrical bounds, well, I'm just call it, I'm going to call it negative a and a in this picture here. Well, if you want to find the total area bounded, between negative a and a, well, since it's symmetrical, it's the same thing as finding the area from 0 to a, and then multiplying it by 2. So we can use this little identity to rewrite our integral a little bit. So our i is also 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity of sine of x over x dx. So those two integrals um, are the same. So what can we do with this thing? right now. Well, we want to introduce some new parameter. So I'm going to define a new function. Let's call it i of t. And we're going to let that be equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of sine of t times x over x dx. So I've put the parameter t inside the argument of the sine. And uh, that's our new function i of t. So how are these two the same or similar? Well, notice that if we put, if we set t equals to one in our function, well, that's inside this integral, it's just gonna be sine of x over x. But that's not quite the integral i that we want. It's off by this factor of two. So if I write it out here, our, our i that we wanna find is just two times i evaluated at t equals to one. So plugging one into here, and then solving whatever this integral is, and then multiplying it by two will get us i. So what can we do with this i of t? Well, as I said before, um, we're gonna be using Laplace transform. So I'm gonna take the Laplace transform of this i of t. So I'm gonna take the Laplace transform of i of t. All right, and well, we can use the definition of the Laplace transform, uh, which is just the integral from zero to infinity of the function, so i of t in this case, times e to the negative st dt. All right, so now we can substitute i of t into this Laplace transform thing. So our i of t is just this thing, as we defined earlier. So let's write this out. So that's now the integral from zero to infinity of the integral from zero to infinity. So we have a double integral now of sine of t times x over x dx. So this part here in here is just i of t, but we still have e to the negative st times dt hanging off the end. So we're gonna play around with this now. Um, notice that e to the negative st, that's just a constant in terms of x. So what we can do is pull this e to the negative st into the x integral. So we have the integral from zero to infinity. This is for the um, t variable. And then we have another integral for the x's. So we have in here sine of t times x over x and we're pulling this e to the negative st inside and close it off with the dx, then we still have a dt hanging off the end. So what I'm gonna do now is interchange this dx and this dt here. And um, well, the integral signs won't change because the bounds are the same, but uh, I'm gonna switch these two around. So pretty much changing the order of integration. So now we have this the integral from zero to infinity integral from 0 to infinity of sine of t times x over x e to the negative st dt dx. Okay, and now this integral in here is in terms of t. That means all the x's are constants. 
even though they're not really constants, but in this integral inside here, they're constants. Um, so we can drag this uh, 1 over x out. So we have the integral from 0 to infinity um, with respect to x. So we still have this 1 over x on the inside, but for our integral with respect to t, now I have sine of t times x, e to the negative st, dt, dx. And you might notice something, this part here, that's just the Laplace transform of this new function, sine of t times x. So this is the Laplace of sine of t times x. All right, so what we can do with this now is rewrite our integral a little bit. So this is now the integral from zero to infinity of one over x times the Laplace transform of sine of t times x dx. Okay, now you want to be careful here because notice that this Laplace transform came from this integral here, which was with respect to t. That means our Laplace transform is with respect to this t variable here, and this x here is just a constant. So we want to treat x as a constant, even though it's in this integral here, but for this Laplace transform, our x is a constant, and um, if you know the Laplace transform of a sine, so if you have Laplace sine of, I don't know, a t, where a is a constant, that's just a over the new variable s, so s squared plus a squared. So we're moving away from t and our new variable becomes s. So we can use this and plug it in for this Laplace transform. So now you have the integral from zero to infinity of one over x and the Laplace transform of this thing since x is a constant, it's just x over um, s squared plus x squared dx. And the nice thing is this x and that x will cancel and we will get the integral from zero to infinity of 1 over s squared plus x squared dx. And if you know this integral, this is just the arctangent integral. So this thing here just becomes the arctangent. Um, and you have this s squared here. So if you know the identity for that, um, it's just 1 over s times arctangent of x over s. So this is the integral or antiderivative of this function. And we want to evaluate this from zero to infinity. All right, very nice. So almost there, almost done with the integration. Um, well, we're pretty much done. We just need to plug in these values. So we're just going to use limits to evaluate um, these bounds here. So firstly, we just have the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over s, arctangent of x over s, and then subtracting the lower bound. Well, if we plug 0 into here, well, that's just arctangent of 0, which is just 0. So this whole thing becomes 0 when we plug 0 into it. So we can just ignore this. Um, so our answer is just pretty much this thing right here. So what is this? Well, as x here goes to infinity, assuming that s doesn't go to infinity as well, um, which is the constant in this case. Well, this thing will just become arctangent of infinity, which is just pi over 2. So in the end, we have 1 over s times pi over 2. And remember, that was just the, arc, um, the Laplace transform of our i of t. So this was the Laplace transform of i of t. So we found out that our Laplace transform of i of t was um, 1 over s times pi on 2. So to get back to i of t, we want to take the inverse Laplace of the Laplace of i of t. So I'll just write it like this. i of t is the inverse Laplace transform of the Laplace transform of i of t. 
Alright, so this is nothing but the inverse Laplace transform of what we found here, which was, um, I'll just write it like this, pi and 2 times 1 over s. But because the Laplace transform is a linear operator, we can bring this pi on 2 out to the front. So we have pi and 2 times the inverse Laplace of 1 over s. And if you know the inverse of plus of 1 over s, that's just t. So we have pi on 2 times t. And this is our i of t that we wanted to find. But remember, our i right here, that has to be 2 times i of t evaluated at 1. So that means our i is 2 times i of t evaluated at 1, which is just pi on 2, because if you plug 1 into here, well, that doesn't change anything. So 2 times pi on 2, so our i becomes pi. And that is the answer to our original integral that we had before. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So our integral in the end is just pi. And that's nice. So uh, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys next time.